Hi there guys, in today's video in TrueCut RD Works, we're going to be running through a basic process of using the text tool. But before that, let's have a quick intro first. So today's video can be found on softwaretraining.co.za. We make short and easy to watch problem solving videos and we also have daily updates. Otherwise, back in the program here. So now, just a quick reminder, this is a mini-series on the text tool, and I will also leave relevant links in the description so you guys can actually follow along. Now, uh, previously we looked at the actual um, uh, text tools features and tools, what they do. Now we're going to have a quick video where we just run through it. So I'm not going to go into depth about what each one does, seeing that we've already covered that. This is just more how the basic process will look like. So if you're familiar with using text tools, you're welcome to skip this video. Now, first of all, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to make a clean canvas here so we can start from scratch. So then select my actual text tool here on the draw bar, add it, and then what I want to do is just like a basic title and maybe a, um, a word under it. So I'm going to call this um, in all caps, maybe text space tool, or let me put a little hyphen there so we can uh, make it a bit more like a title. Then what I want to do is also I want to select a actual font. I want something a bit more bold. So I'm just going to use this one for the um, example. And then we want to choose our size. So now we can check over here on the left, we've got our scale. So I want it maybe say about, let's make it 600. So I'm going to go set this to 600. And then the width I'm going to leave at, or I'm going to make it 100%. I want the letters to be nice and wide so it doesn't feel too cramped. And I might add a little bit of character spacing. Just, uh, just want to add this first and we see what we're looking at. Okay, so my scale I made way too big. I set the height, not the width. So um, if you wanted to, however, set the width that you can do over here on your... Um, by these uh, editing by the cut menu, I think it's called. So over here, you can always just go 600, press enter, and then now just locate that text. I'm just gonna use, okay, I don't know what happened there. I'm gonna use this tool just to throw in the middle of our canvas. And there we go, so text tool title, you can say. So uh, I think let's, yeah, we'll stick at that. Well, let me make it, I wanna rather make it text title. So it is more relevant to what we are doing. Then next up, I'll put something under it. Um, maybe call it video process, so that you know it kind of uh, explains what we are busy doing. So now I can either make a duplicate of this text, or I can um, add a new one with this tool. But for now, I'm going to make a duplicate because then I know the scaling is very similar. So I'm going to open that, and now. Um, I'm going to make all this all small letters and then we go uh, video process. Then I'm going to say okay just to first see what that looks like. And then uh, I think maybe I'll change the font. Okay, then what's going to happen there? This thing's a bit buggy. It's going to go back to the original. This is a bit tighter. Now, I want to scale this the same width as the top text. Now, I could go here and play around with the height. But, um, yeah, my, in my personal opinion, it's a bit tricky to uh, get the right scale with that method. You can always try to get as close as you can and then set the width, but that sometimes looks a bit weird in my opinion. So, I'm just going to go on top here and make this 600 again. Throw it with this little tool into the center again and just do the spacing. Now, I did mention that perhaps you want to space your uh, the title a bit more, which you can do, but uh, in my opinion, the spacing is uh, it's all right, but we'll look at it just because. Let's so maybe try this about a five mil space, see what effect does that have. Very subtle, but I think we'll stick with that for now. And this bottom one, I want to make a bit smaller because at the moment it's kind of screaming too much to so look at me. It's supposed to be like a subtext. And then maybe what I can do is separate this with a line. So let's grab it. I think that's about similar. And then we've got our 
title, text, um, text title, and then video process. So it's a rather simple process and uh, yeah, easy to follow. Otherwise, we head here to softwaretraining.co.za. You guys will notice we've got a variety of different softwares to recover, and you can also isolate your searching on the top right. If you um, uh, don't find the videos you're looking for, just go here, request a training video, then we'll do our best to make that for you. Otherwise, thanks guys for watching, and cheers.